It was a profound shock to me to realize that the drug war was a real thing. I thought it was like Smokey the Bear, you know, kind of an ad campaign. I didn't think it was real. I didn't know that they busted down people's doors with guns. I didn't know that they intimidated doctors. I didn't know uh, that the DEA was all over pharmacies. So when I was confronted with that fact, and I had this sick husband, I was terrified. Because how was I gonna help him if that's what he was up against? You know, that's a terrible thing to have to look at. And so at the beginning, I just fought for him in a very small personal way, you know, just sort of going to this doctor, that doctor, talk this guy into helping that guy feel more secure, but, you know, sort of working the system. But as I did it and watched it and knew better and better what the realities were and saw, I think, on some level what my husband's fate really was, um, and what my son was going to suffer as a result. This fear became determination. You know, as hard as it is to take care of sick people, as, as expensive as it is, um, we're not civilized if we don't do it. And I'm somebody who is here to reawaken our country to that imperative so that we either become or return to being a civilized country because right now we're not. Right now we're allowing law enforcement to destroy people who happen to be in a lot of pain. Um, and just the very idea of that, you know, in addition to being profoundly inhumane, is also profoundly un-American. And so kind of as a patriot really, I'm doing this to try to defend the liberty interests of people in pain and defend their lives, really. It's not how you treat free people. Grown-ups should be free to, to take what they need to take to get by. You know, they've got families to support. They've got relationships to have. They've got money they need to make. Uh, there's no reason why people should be forced to deteriorate and have their families dissolve and all their finances go out the window because drug warriors think that you should be able to tough it out. I mean, what is going on here? And it's such a profound denial of, of the emptiness sometimes that I think we all face.